Hey guys, Dr. Mark here with Stanley Chiropractic. Thanks for joining me. You know, we're able to treat a lot of people with degenerative disc disorders and herniated discs in this office. And one of the primary ways that we're able to do that with is with spinal decompression. And along that journey, I'll often get a question about uh, inversion tables and if those are the same or not. So I want to address that question. Um, short answer is no, they're not the same. And a couple big reasons behind that. Uh, you know, when we do spinal decompression, what we're really trying to do is restore good, healthy motion to a joint. These discs through here, they're like ball bearings and they allow those bones or the joints to move through a full, healthy range of motion. But if that ball bearing gets really compressed, you can't get a lot of motion through there. Well, the discs require that motion to stay healthy. They get fluid and nutrients in and they push a lot of toxins out. And so what happens when you go on an inversion table and you're hanging upside down, you're really just stretching and you're stretching a lot of tissues on the way down from your ankles to the knees to the hips, SI joints, and then finally the low back, including all the muscles. Well, we want to bypass all of that and really target, uh, whether it's L5, L4, whatever it is, we really want to target and effectively treat just that area, not everything else on the way to that area. But then also, because that joint needs that motion to be healthy, we want to make sure we're pumping that area. And that's what decompression does is we target it. It's able to pump uh, as we decompress and then come back off and decompress. It's really able to pump that area to get that fluid and nutrient exchange to restore a lot of health to that disc um, and, and, and see some size increase back on that disc. So there really is a big difference. Now with the, with the inversion tables, if people want to use it and if you use it and you get a little relief with it, then I say, keep using it. It's great, but be very careful. Your body's not used to hanging upside down. So when you come back up, sometimes the muscles misfire and you can injure yourself. And I've had people in here after an injury from an inversion table. So if you use one, just know what its purpose is and be very careful using it. Um, obviously, if we're dealing with a herniated disc or degeneration, the treatment option of choice is going to be decompression every time. Hope that helps.